Hi everybody and welcome to another week. Today we are going to be doing some rope wrapping and these are just some examples of the different types of rope wrapping that you can achieve. Um, these are two different types of macrame cord um, and it's really really simple and effective way of maybe having a wall hanging or giving it to somebody as a, as a present. Um, so I will show you how to, to start. So I'll pop these to the side and in your pack you'll receive some macrame cord, a kilt pin, some embroidery thread, a tapestry wool, a glue stick and a pair of scissors you'll need. Okay, so really simple to start off. Um, what you'll do is you'll cut the length of your um, you'll cut the length of your macrame cord. Give yourself a wee bit of room to play with. You can always make it shorter if you you wish and what you'll need to do is you'll need to thread it through your kilt pin and pull it quite tight. This um, knot is called a lax head there and just like that what you can do is you can add a few more lax head if you like or you can keep it as the one it's entirely up to you. So just to show you how to get that effect You'll need your embroidery thread, you choose your colour and what you're going to do is begin to wrap it. So give yourself a bit of room with the thread that you're going to be using and start wrapping. Now. What I'd like to do is to leave a little tail with the embroidery thread going down the, the macrame cord and that way when you're wrapping it makes it really neat and tidy. There's no loose ends at the end. So I'll just begin to, to wrap. Oops. begin to start wrapping and like in the examples that I showed you previously you can use all different types of embroidery thread or tapestry wool or yarn if you've got it um, and all you're doing is just wrapping it round like so pulling it at the same time to make sure that it's nice and tight and that there's no gaps so you can't see any of the macrame cord. Now it's up to you how you do it. You might want to do one colour and then change to the next. So all you do is decide the length that you would like it and then when you're finished I'm getting the hang of it now oops spoke too soon <laughs> just threading it round until I come to the end Now, it will, oops, and that's me coming to the end of my thread and all I'm going to do is pull it tight 
and then using my glue stick add a wee bit of glue to the end just to finish it off you can use a needle for that part and push the needle up and back but I just find it easier using the glue and um, don't claim to be any type of sewer so that's that so the end just sits flush there then you can take another colour of thread if you wish and cut a bit off and repeat the process so again I'm going to leave a wee bit of a tail oops and then start wrapping where I've finished and again holding it quite tight so that I don't have any loose thread now you might decide that you want a longer bit of colour so you would just add more thread or less you can unravel it if you decide to change it about So these colours are sort of my my favourites. And wrapping all the way round nearly at the end. And then I'll get my glue stick again. Ready to, to glue the end bit. Add a wee bit of glue directly onto the embroidery thread and then give it another wrap round, making sure it's nice and flat. So as we done the two colours, I would continue, I might continue doing more green here and then more of the lilac or I could add another colour into the middle. It is entirely up to you. You experiment and see how you get on.